John Baldassare was our 23rd project. The project took place on the facade of the Australian Museum. But before talking about the project, I want to introduce you to John Baldassare. He was 80 odd when he came to Australia and a very unusual choice for us. He was already acclaimed as one of the most important American artists. He was at the forefront of the conceptual art movement in the 60s, 70s, and he was a great friend of Sol Lewitt. They complemented each other, Sol on the East Coast and John on the West Coast in Los Angeles. John was also a great teacher and many a young artist owed their career to him. He won the Golden Line Award for Lifetime Achievement at the 53rd Venice Biennale. So a very established, acknowledged artist. John was introduced to me by Jessica Morgan, one of the head curators at the Tate Modern in London. Jessica worked on a big retrospective with John Baldassare and she suggested that he would be an ideal artist for me to bring to Australia, regardless of his age and previous exhibitions worldwide. And she proved to be 100% correct. John came on a site visit. He was full of ideas and full of energy. And we showed him lots of sites and he came up with a great idea at an area which is now called Barangaroo, but in the 30s it was called the Hungry Mile because unemployed workers used to queue up to get daily work on the wharfs. And that idea of the Hungry Mile struck a chord with him. And he came up with a very strong sculptural work, a line of silhouettes of people queuing up along that hungry mile. And I was very much in favor of that idea and I started to investigate it. But unfortunately, the Barangaroo authorities came up with one obstacle after another. So we had to drop that idea. But John wasn't fast and he came up with several other ideas which in the end turned out to be much better. We settled on what he called your name in lights. It was a take on Andy Warhol's statement, in the future, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. But John said, Warhol is so yesterday, will make everybody famous for 15 seconds. This project, we worked together with the Sydney Festival, especially with John Bailey, who was head of production and who was a great, great help. So with his assistance and his knowledge, we constructed a 30 meter long sign on top of the Australian Museum, stretching almost the whole length of the museum and it was decorated with the old-fashioned Hollywood garish marquees for Art Deco cinemas and billboards. Using a new technology for then, we gathered 98,000 names that were projected over the three-week period, 24 hours a day, non-stop and it was also broadcast internationally, so people all over the world put their names down and they could follow the sequence of the names. It was a real pleasure working with John as he was so enthusiastic and creative. At 80, he had more ideas than artists quarter his age. Amazing. It was a great opening, very appropriately to the Hollywood and theatrical aspect.
Barry Humphreys opened it and the Sydney Festival arranged fireworks. So it was a great start to the project. The project also received overseas attention. And after our project, a year later it was shown at the Amsterdam Festival. And a couple of years later, to our surprise and great pleasure, it was shown at the opening of a new museum, the old mint facing the Louvre on the banks of the Seine. Subsequently, we had a number of inquiries to take it to museums in the United States, but it was a costly affair, and so far it was only shown in those three locations. Naomi and I became very close friends with John, and every time we were in Los Angeles, we visited him in his studio, and he was hard at work till the last days when he passed away at 89. A very great artist that I feel very honored that we were able to do a project with him. <laughs>